Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a suspense thriller, drama, and action film from 2018 called In Darkness. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie starts with a woman being choked, fear evident on her face as she reaches out for help. The scene shifts to a room where instrumentalists practice under the watchful eye of a director who requests Sophia to review some notes. Agreeing that she has demo clips to work on, Sophia later crosses paths with Veronique at the train station. Veronique expresses gratitude for Sophia's performance at her father's benefit, and Sophia reveals she's motivated by the need to fund her father's medical treatment. Veronique coyly keeps the scent she wears a secret when Sophia inquires about it. Back in her room, Sophia, experimenting with acting blind, navigates her familiar spacious living space. Disturbed by noises and songs from Veronique's place, she's drawn into concern. The film then transitions to Sophia's daily routine, which is disrupted when she trips on a scarf on the stairway, injuring her hand. Recognizing the scent on the scarf, she links it to Veronique. Collecting a letter and bio from her mailbox, Sophia decides to burn the letter and dispose of her trash, only to be startled by the lights going out. In a panic, she rushes to the elevator, where she encounters Veronique, who hastily boards to evade someone. Veronique takes the scarf offered back by Sophia and reveals her perfume is named Liquid Gold. Sophia overhears a tense conversation and subsequent laughter from Veronique's apartment. A commotion outside draws her to the window, where she discovers Veronique dead inside a car. Detective Oscar Mills questions Sophia, who claims she heard nothing due to her headphones. He leaves his card with her, instructing her to provide a statement to another officer. The plot thickens as Mark Gordon discusses the previous night's events with his sister Alexandra. They reveal that Veronique was the target, and Mark worries that Sophia might have seen him. Alexandra insists on retrieving a USB from Veronique, which she failed to obtain during Veronique's death, believed to be a suicide to evade Mark. The detective discovers Veronique is the daughter of Zoran Radic, a Bosnian military figure accused of wartime human rights abuses. Sophia, enraged after hearing a news advertisement, returns to her apartment where Mark is waiting with a gun aimed at her. He hesitates and decides not to kill her upon realizing she is blind. Sophia reveals a vial she retrieved from her mailbox. Meanwhile, Detective Mills learns that Veronique was 12 weeks pregnant. That night, at a charity event hosted by Roddich, Alexandra and Mark arrive, where Mark discloses Veronique's pregnancy and hints at his possible paternity. As Roddich addresses his guest, feigning sorrow, Sophia performs a piece she promised Veronique. Her music moves Rodich, leading to a private conversation where Sophia recounts Veronique's kindness and mentions the piece was hummed to Veronique by her father as a child. Their interaction is interrupted by Alexandra, Rodich's head of security, who advises him in appearing more remorseful to benefit his public image. She warns him against his predilection for blind women, hinting at the consequences of his past misdeeds. After she leaves, Sophia attempts to spike Rodich's drink with the vial's contents, but drops it. In a quick attempt to conceal her actions, she breaks the vial with her shoe and lets the champagne mask the spill. After the event, Sophia, aware she's being followed, walks through a dark alley and faces assault. Mark intervenes, saving her. Over coffee, Sophia recounts the previous day to Mark and admits to telling the police she heard nothing. She hints at a song by City to be played around her, referencing the vial. The next morning, played by traumatic visions, Sophia finds a USB hidden in her sweater, given by Veronique. She entrusts it to her adoptive father. Neil, aware that Detective Mills is tailing Sophia, urges caution in her quest for truth. Later, Sophia is abducted by men demanding the USB. Mark, again in the right place, rescues her and inquires about the USB himself. Sophia, growing worry of his reoccurring presence and rescue attempts, calls for police assistance. After her rescue, she is taken to a hospital where her gravely ill adoptive father visits her. The USB contains information about Radish's assets and his criminal operations, which is enough to take him down. He tries to ensure her she is making the right choices. 
Detective Mills comes to chat with her, but upon seeing she is fast asleep, he leaves her side, taking a piece of jewelry left by Neil. Sophia wakes up and attempts to leave the hospital for her apartment, but mistakenly ends up in Veronique's apartment. She sends her friend from the coffee shop to deliver a message to Mark with Veronique's scarf, imploring him to find her. Mark was trying to understand Sophia's connection to Veronique because he loved Veronique and worked with her. He explains this to Sophia amid the chaos of Veronique's ransacked apartment. They share an intimate moment that calms their minds. Sophia blindfolds him, seeking equality in their vulnerability. She discloses that her parents knew Roddich as neighbors for years and that she played in his garden before the war. Then, Serbian paramilitaries, under Roddich's orders, killed her family, leaving her the sole survivor. Mark confesses that Alexandra was behind the order to kill Veronique, who escaped death by jumping from a building. This revelation compels Sophia to disclose the information on the USB, and she requests a meeting with his sister. Sophia discovers the connection between liquid gold and silver, where silver element symbol is a G, which is her name, Alexandra Gordon, while Veronique was gold. Sophia tells Alexandra she wants to have a close chat with Radish alone and would need her to make it happen. They exchanged items as she gave Sophia a picture, while Sophia gave her the USB, but they both had copies already. Alexandra prepared the meeting with Radish that same day, which was Veronique's funeral. Zorin agreed to meet her in his car, and when this happened, Sophia tried to kill him with a knife, but he stopped her. He explained to her about how she happens to be his daughter, and how and when he first raped her mother, a Catholic woman. He then tells her he raped her mother again with his men before killing her when he became a general in the military. Sophia was shocked and unexpectedly in Rodish's hold. Even though he dares to kill him, she tells him about Alexandra Gordon as AG and how she and his daughter Veronique have been working to expose him and also to the Russians. He got annoyed and lost his hold as she opened the door at her side to make an escape for herself in the crowd that was outside. Resolved to hold Rodgers accountable for his past atrocities, Sophia heads to the police station to meet Detective Mills, only to find him unavailable. Reeling from the revelation that Rodish is her father, she uses a payphone to learn he has died, leaving her a way out. It's then she discovers her true name is Boma. At the coffee shop, Detective Mills confronts Balma, known as Sophia, pressing for a confession, but she maintains her innocence. He informs her that Sophia is not legally her name. It belongs to her adoptive father's deceased daughter. Their discussion is interrupted by Mills' daughter. The narrative shifts to Rodish's apartment, where Alexandra, coerced to sign a document, becomes aware of Rodish's recognition of her betrayal. Fearing for her life and rejected by her brother, she tries to flee the country, but is assassinated by her own security on Rodgers' command. Detective Mills, piercing together the connections between Veronique's case and Sophia's involvement, since it's a deeper motive prompting his departure from the station. Concurrently, Zorin Rodis confronts Sophia in Veronique's apartment, leading to a violent altercation. Mark Gordon, arriving amid the chaos, engages in a fight with Radish's escorts before reaching the apartment. He intervenes in the struggle between Sophia and Radish, ultimately pushing Radish to his death. In the fray, Sophia accidentally stabs Mark and tries to save him, revealing in the process that she can see Mark learning of her deception and her adoption of her blind sister's identity, insists on protecting her by staying behind. Detective Mills arrives at the scene to find Rodish dead and Mark blindfolded, catching only a fleeting glimpse of Sophia as she escapes. He's unable to stop her, leaving the story open-ended. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.